understand in these uh, scriptures, man. And it says, uh, but the, it says verse 13, which things are also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, because when we speak, right, the, the barium, when we speak, right, uh, 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 the barium, these holy words, these words are not the words that man speak. But they tell you in the third chapter, the same book, the wisdom of this world is foolish, man, with the most high, man. So we speak not of this word, this man's, uh, uh, the, the words of this world, because the words of this world are backwards, man. They are perverse to everything that the, the, the scriptures are really saying and talking about, you know? Like I said, man, hey, the, the whole, the wisdom of this world wants you to feel like everybody, everybody could be saved, man. The Lord is coming back for everybody. That's what they tell you. Which when you read in the scriptures, that is contrary to what the scriptures is talking about. It says, which things also we speak not in the words of this man teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things to spiritual things. We are speaking what the Holy Spirit comes on us to speak through his words. We're reading his words, man. The words that were left in the comforter, man. You know? These words are, are, are the spirit, and they are the truth, man. John 6. John 6 and 63. It says, it is the spirit that quickened, right? Quickened it goes into uh, making making you alive, man. The spirit is what make you alive, right? Because a lot of people are, are dead, man. You know? Their dead bodies lie in the great city uh, of these streets. Uh, in America, man. These these words are what bring you back alive, man. It says, it is the spirit that quickened, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So these words are the spirit. These words are the life, man. You know? These are the words that, that, that we speak. It says, the things also we speak not of the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things to spiritual things, man. You know? And it says, verse 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, man. So if you're not spiritual, you can't receive, you can't receive this truth, man. You can't receive it if you're not a spiritual man, man. This, this is, you, this is like, hey, this is like a, 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 a foolish to a person. If they not spiritual, man. It says, for they are foolish unto him, see. We read these scriptures, it seems foolish to you what we're saying. It says, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. They are spiritually discerned, man. So they don't they don't understand, man. You know? Spiritual under, understanding comes from a like, spiritual uh, being you know but he that is spiritual judges all things yet he himself is judged of no man so hey a spiritual man can evaluate all things as long as he, he's going by the scriptures man <clears throat> the law statutes and commandments a spiritual man can judge could judge anything man as long as he is going by these scriptures man but he cannot be judged by a, a non-spiritual man that come up and, and they'll be like, well, you 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 can't judge nobody. Well, just told you you can. And then when you read in uh, Corinthians the sixth chapter, spiritual man judges all things. We stay we stay within the uh, scriptures, man. We judge you with the scriptures. You know, and that's not what that's what that's what the pastors are not doing, man. These so-called preachers of these churches, man, they're not doing that, man. You know. They're, they're only doing this for filthy lucre, man. Uh, let's see what we got here. Mm, this is uh, 1 Peter 5 and uh, 2. 
5 and 2. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, right? Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, being not being being uh, forced to, right? Not 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 feeling like you're being forced to. It says, but willing, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Man. You go into that word ready mind. It's a word called uh 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 allocrosity, right? Which means cheerful. So when you come to bring this word, you must do it in cheerfulness, man, of the spirit, you know? Not with a grudge, not feeling like, oh, I gotta go out here and do this. Man, we, 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 we wanna come out here and push this word, man. Because when you read these scriptures, once you start getting into it, hey, you have no other choice, man. Because Hebrews 6 tells you, you know? He tells you what's going to happen to you. So we come out here in all, all cheerfulness of the spirit. You know? When you see us sometimes, and you see it, hey, these words will come out sometimes. They might come out rougher than what you what you normally hear when you go to your mega church on Sunday. But the Lord said, I'm an austere man. So if it's prophets are prophesying, hey, it's probably certain times they're gonna be in the spirit and they're gonna be a little bit rougher than what you thought. But you better hear the message, man. And don't worry about how, how it comes out. You know, don't worry about how it comes out. Because this scripture says this, right here. Uh, the scripture says this right here. Uh, let's see here. Corinthians 11 and 6 but though I be rude in speech yet not in knowledge but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things man so we be rude in speech man so sometimes it seems like it's when the men of the Lord speak it's, it's untamed man the language is untamed which which Esau would say because you're not speaking as as they you know you're using you're using what they call rude speech words, which they created. Which they created, man. So we come out week in and week out, man, to push this, hey, to push these prophecies, man, and to tell you that, hey, America's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, thus says the Lord of the Bible, man. And it's coming, man. You know, it's coming. Uh. Let's see here. Hebrews. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Hebrews. Hebrews. 5 and 12 it says for when for when for the time ye ought to be teachers you need one to teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of the most high man so you need though you call yourself teachers you need one to teach you again because you pastors in the churches y'all don't have it man Y'all don't have it, man. Y'all didn't come through the y'all didn't come through the straight gate, man. You know, y'all didn't come through the door, which was your house shy, man. Y'all came another way, man. So you need one to teach you again. Uh, let me get that. That's John. John twelve. John twelve. Uh, 
Con, John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber, right? And that door, that door is representation of Yahweh Shai, man. You don't, you, don't, you don't enter in through that way. Hey, you enter in through some other way. You so-called pastors, you enter in through what the, uh, the Esau's clergy taking you through the theologian schools, man. You didn't, you didn't go through the way of just suffering and knowing that you don't know why you suffered, and then all of a sudden you hear the words, the true words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and you hear the name, and then you ask for that repentance in that name, right? And then you start learning, you know. Then you being start being taught by your teachers, man. Y'all didn't come through that way. You came through by the theologian way, which Esau's doctrine is being pushed on you. Uh, uh, the the uh, the words that are basically contrary to the scriptures, man. That's the way y'all basically y'all pastors came up, man. You came through the other door. You didn't come through that that true door. That's going to have you worshiping the Lord in spirit and truth. You came through the other door. But, but he that entered by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. So, hey, we trying to be them shepherds of the sheep. The ones that, uh, hey, the Lord, hey, we entered through that, that right door. Now we coming out here and we feeding the flock, man. Hey, we're, we're, we're coming out prophesying, man. We're speaking, we're speaking out of the spirit, which are the words, man. Which are spirit in our life, man. So y'all came in another way. So it's going to be, it's going to be a, 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 a penalty, man, of death that's coming to you for that, man. Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23 and 1. It says, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter my sheep of my pastor, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you go into the word woe, it goes into destruction, right? It says woe be unto the pastors, right? Those shepherds that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. And the sheep of my pasture, the Lord is saying, that's my, is, is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He said, my pasture, they're Israelites, man. He tells that in Isaiah the 51st chapter that the sheep are Israel. They destroy the sheep of the pasture, man. Because when you don't feed a sheep, and you don't tend to the sheep, right? When you don't tend to them, and you just let them run any kind of way they want, then you're gonna leave them subjected to be what? Taken by the wolf, man. They're gonna be taken by that wolf. Like, they're gonna be, they're gonna be taken by that wolf, man. So, hey, if, hey, if it was no men that, if if our apostles starting at uh, uh, Apostle Abba Bivens, if it didn't go through Abba Bivens, and King Masha and Yaiqua and Arya down to Apostle Tahar and Apostle uh, Gabar and, and Rakar and Ramlob, hey, if they never, if they never came out, man, and, and, and gathered those fruit and those other elder brothers on, on up under them, Hey man, we will be left out here to the wolves and we will be still in these other doctrines, man. But the Lord is so merciful and beautiful, he set it up. He had those men come out here, man, to teach men about the spirit. To bring and to quicken certain men. And to bring them into this into this sheepfold, man. You know? You you are you will be left out there for the wolves, which the wolves represent your other doctrines, man. Still being Islam, and Jake in, in the states don't even worship Islam, right? They don't know what the hell they doing. They all confused. You got your Ishmaelites running around a cobblestone, which 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 goes back to uh sat sat Satan sat near your priesthood. You got Buddhists, people worshiping the fat man. You got them, them Hindus worshiping, uh, I don't know if it's uh, the Hindi God, I don't know if it's 